nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this gorgeous wig that was sent to me from Best Lace Wigs. I will have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. The wig that I received is in the style GLW007. It is 20 inches. This is a 360 lace cap construction. The density is 150% and the texture is loose curly. So this wig comes with three combs and an adjustable strap, but I will be removing the back comb and the adjustable strap with a seam ripper. This step is very time consuming, but when there is an adjustable strap in the back of your head, you can't bleach or pluck the knots in that area and it shows through the lace, making the overall install look unnatural. Our goal is to have the front of the lace and the back of the lace looking identical. So everything that I do to the front hairline, I will have to do to the back nape area as well. The knots of the wig have already been bleached in the front, but I will bleach the rest of the knots surrounding the 360 off camera. For time purposes, I did leave the sides of the adjustable strap intact. It was very difficult to remove and I didn't have the extra time for that. So I'm just gonna focus on customizing the center area that I removed the adjustable strap from. Now I will remove some of that density from both the front and back hairline by doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. So now that I am finished plucking the front hairline, I did turn the wig around. And here is a perfect example of how your nape area would look if you do not remove that adjustable strap. So keep in mind, once you get the wig, it is worth the extra effort to take off the entire adjustable strap. Otherwise, this will be shown if you do baby hairs or if you do certain hairstyles, it will be like purple showing through the lace. Of course, I did remove that adjustable strap in the middle, but on the sides, you will still be able to see it. And if you're wondering how I would get a perfect fit if the wig is too big for my head, once the adjustable strap is removed, all I would have to do is attach a removable elastic band to it for a custom fit. Okay, so now that I am satisfied with how the front and back hairline are looking, it's now time to tint the lace. I'm grabbing two different colors of lace tints. One is the color of my foundation and I will be spraying that along my hairline. And the second one is the color of my scalp and I'll be spraying that in the inner portion of the wig. Of course, I will be doing two layers of each color of lace tints and then blow drying in between each layer. And I will be doing the same thing in the front that I'm doing to the back. Okay, so moving on to the baby hairs. I'm doing my new method for curly baby hairs. I'm just gonna do the zigzag method of parting in the back, and I'm just going to section off the amount of baby hairs that I want. So I'm taking my time with that, and I don't want it to be a harsh line, so that's why I'm not drawing a straight line, but I'm doing a zigzag motion so that it can look as natural as possible. I'm grabbing an eyebrow razor, and I'm just going to diagonally trim down those hairs. I feel like it looks a lot more natural when your baby hairs are different lengths. And this diagonal trim will have it looking a lot more natural. Finding this video helpful? Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up.
Okay, so now that I am satisfied with the length of the baby hairs, I'm gonna spray each section with water and then apply a curling gel. After that, I'll just be grabbing some perm rods and curling both of those sections. I have a love for spiral curled sideburns as well. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did for the back nape baby hairs to the two sideburns of the wig. Of course, you can cut your baby hair shorter and use a smaller perm rod for a tighter curl, or you can use flexi rods or a bigger perm rod for a different effect. You can also mix the colors of perm rods in rod sizes for an even more natural look because our hair is different textures all throughout. So if you have different baby hair textures, that makes it look a lot more natural as well. Okay, so now it's time to style the hair. Taking a small section of hair, I'm going to detangle it with my detangling comb, then fully saturate it with water. Next, I'll be grabbing a curling gel and applying that to the section, and then I'll be grabbing my Denman brush and brushing it from the ends on upwards to help these curls fully pop. <laughs> This texture is loose curly, but because I am going for spiral curled baby hairs, I want the ends of the hair to be curled as well. So I'm just going to grab some perm rods and perm rod the ends of the hair. And I am going to scrunch the curls up with my hands just to activate the curls and waves. Babe, I need you to help me put the back of my wig on. Are you really gonna help me? Yeah, wow. Okay. So first things first, you have to cut my naps. What these? Uh -huh. My kitchen naps. These are real naps, right? Yeah. Cut that down because mm -hmm. the wig ain't gonna show that. I was part. already gonna ask you if you wanted me to do something like that the other day. When you was pulling my naps. Yep. Is the post notification bell turned on for my channel? If not, don't forget to hit it down below. All right, so the next thing is alcohol. Now, we have to put the glue on. What you use? This. Use this. You just put it Where the around hair my hairline. Around not, the hairline? Yeah, not the hair. on the hair. <laughs> not on the hair, not around the hair. Can you even see what I'm looking at? Or you can't? I can see it. Oh. What are you saying to that? Oh, put it around. Okay, uh, I get what you're saying. Around the hairline. Alright. At the bottom is not like, you know, your hair like really up here. Okay, so put some up here. The lace is not going to pull back. That has to be my hairline, babe. Where? Where you're putting the glue is where my hairline is going to be. So you're creating a new hairline. What I just did? Uh-huh. Is it down too much? If it is, just use alcohol and wipe it off. And what am I connecting to this glue? This. This part? This part we're going to pull over the glue. Oh, okay. Not the lace. The lace going past the glue? We gotta cut the lace. Remember, I just cut the lace in the front? Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. So the lace is going past the glue, yes. How is it looking? As far as neatness? Yeah. Then the first time I did it. Okay. The glue is in a better position, I feel like, if that's what you're really worried about. All right, blow dry it for like five seconds. And then we're just gonna grab this and pull it over. Pass. Mm -hmm. But on the okay, so you see the hairline? Yeah. The hairline has to be over the glue. The hairline has to be directly over the glue. Okay. Hairline. Am I stretching too much? No, no, it's fine. Just positioning my ear. Do you heat it up or something? Just mm -hmm. Keep it on there. I'll dry it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put my head scarf on. Lift your head now. I'm gonna put my head scarf on and then we have to cut the lace. Okay. okay. And I'm doing what you did in the room. Do I gotta, is it a chop or is it just a? 
Head chop. Okay. <clears throat> Can we lift this up some type of way? Keep it up higher. Okay. I've never cut something with my left hand before. It's like I'm retarded. So show it with your right hand. <laughs> so what are you cutting exactly? I'm cutting the lines of the lace right now. Okay. Right now I'm cutting straight lines through it so I can just come through and just cut okay. them all. I've seen either Is this a new method? Oh, I do do that in the front. Yeah, you snip them. Yeah, you said what am I cutting? I'm cutting till they get to the glue part. So that ain't, so it's just the hairline. Yeah. Okay, look at you. You said it was easy when you saw me doing it. Yeah, super easy. It's all about tracing and drawing. And then we'll record it after I'm done so you can see what I did. Okay. How does it look? Is the glue white? No. It's clear? Yeah. Okay. Can't even see the glue. That was way too much lace. <laughs> she got me here cutting laces, ma. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. She got me here doing her hair, ma. I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> you ain't see the lace no more, though. Okay. Anywhere it's white, we're gonna have to use some alcohol to wipe it off later. Wipe it up. That lace cut already, though. So how did he do? Let's chat down below in the comments. Because the curls are defined and the wig is fully installed, the only thing left to do is remove the perm rods and style the hair. So let's get started. And here is the finished look. I am obsessed with this wig in a high bun. I think it looks so natural. I think it looks so cute. I love the baby hairs. I love everything about this wig. I'm obsessed with it. Let's chat down below in the comment section. How do you feel about these curly baby hairs? Will you be trying this method next time? Let's chat down below. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment so that I know you stopped by. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell down below so that you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And I will have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below before you leave. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video bye guys i'm not there without you i'm not there without you girl i'm lost without you i swear i'm lost without you all i think about is come on work about me work about me work go back towards this one yeah yeah turn around come back right here Stay in front of this wall right there, just like that. Work that wall now. Work that wall. I like that, it look good. Yeah, let me get the other side. I know this your good side, but let me see the other one. Yeah. The detail. Detail. Show me some. Show me some. Why should I pay you? Why we paying you? Serve, baby, serve. Got too many mugging faces for me. <laughs> Shake your fingers off the camera. No, it is not. Okay, now it's not. Look back, come on, hit a spin, something. Where you at? Hey. Look at me. You can slow down too, get your sexy walk on. Yeah, give me some smiles, baby. Come on, look like you're thinking too much. Look like you're thinking about something. Work it, come on. Yeah, let me show no attitude. People don't like attitude. <laughs> look like a little college girl. We look like we somewhere on campus somewhere. It's sexy, huh? The back. Okay, right there, right there. Yeah, you good, you good. Stay right there. Yeah, now work it. Scoot back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I look good, baby. Smile for your boy. Come on. Ain't nothing on your teeth, baby. I will tell you, mama. Come on. Work. Work. Look at my baby. I'm gonna put a ponytail in. 
Oh my God, are we in a new hotel that ain't even opened up yet? They ain't trying to let us in here. Look at her face. Look at her face. Game face on, she ain't playing. You ready? Boom, she's ready now, y'all. I'm gonna cut this one, we're gonna go to another one. Mm-hmm. Smile more, baby. Yes. It's Bezozai. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezozai. Ay, ay.